What's up, Big Ponians? I am Mortal Convoy, and welcome to the Mat Cave. Today, I'm unboxing the Sprue Kits Level 2 Batman from Arkham City. Let's go ahead and get a look at this guy. Taking a look at the box art here on the uh, front of the box, we see this very nice uh, cover art of the... Uh, of the in-game render of Batman from the uh, Arkham City game along with the Arkham City titling and the uh, very nice Sprue Kits uh, titling there very similar to the uh, the Gumpla titling that you'll see uh, every now and then on a Gundam kit uh, very nice we get uh, on the front cover these little diagrams here just showing you uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of kind of a, or an exploded view of the uh, model being assembled uh, in a CGI render and then a shot of the completed model using just what's in the box no special painting or anything uh, shown on here um, <coughs> for uh, the figure that we've got inside here we've got uh, this little uh, bit right here indicating the difficulty level of the, uh, of this particular screw kit, um, which is, uh, I would say, definitely this is probably about equivalent to a high-grade uh, Gundam kit. And again, we see uh, the Bandai logo. This is they; uh, these are designed by the same people, uh, by the same company, obviously, that uh, that designs the Gundam kits. As if we also didn't get enough of this. Uh, get enough indicator of that with the designed in Japan right here at the bottom of the uh, label <laughs> On the side here, we'll see uh, these uh, these boxes uh, as they're uh, As these kits are intended more for uh, the American market the box is actually going to be quite different from your average uh uh, Gumpla model box. Uh, again, we've got the, uh, the screw kits over here with the level two uh, indicator here. Some more of the titling and describing, you know, really. Like, I I'm, I'm tempted to quote Frank Miller here, but <laughs> um, uh, but for uh, for the sake of uh, for the sake of language and such, I'll. Uh, go ahead and pass on that up at the top here. We've got uh, again a very similar thing to what we saw on the side here um, We do see a, a very nice uh, piece count here uh, Telling us exactly we've got 95 pieces here again the 8 plus age range with the Bandai logo um, I Did I did kind of gloss over it on the uh, front of the corner here. We've also got the piece count down here and uh, some little symbols indicating um, you don't need it, it says on the box you don't need cutters but cutters do uh, make it a little bit easier to uh, get the pieces off of the sprues uh, you won't need paint to complete it uh, that's uh, art debatable um, and you won't need glue to uh, complete it which is usually uh, pretty well the case uh, over on this side here we've on the uh, left side of the box, pretty much we've got the same as the right side. Um, although instead, where on the right side, you know, we've got these uh, warning labels and stuff, or these, uh, or you know, the choking hazard marker and everything, plus the uh, the UBC here. On the other side, on the other side, we've got uh, we've got. Uh, some more details about the about the model itself uh, telling us it's going to be about five inches tall when it's finished um, it the second bar right here says time um, but it doesn't give any indication as to uh, any kind of approximation as like whether that's in minutes or whatever it's just kind of like by comparison to other kits uh, in the sprue kits line uh, the detail again uh, not terribly descriptive on that, but just to give you a general idea, and same with the articulation, which, uh, which this this guy is uh, fairly articulated. On the back of the box, we've got a lot more of uh, all that other stuff that we saw on the other sides. We've got a uh, got this picture of the CG model from the uh, from the game for comparison. 
Um, <clears throat> a little bit further down, about halfway down, we've got a couple more uh, shots of the completed model, again, with no paint uh, or any extra added detail whatsoever other than uh, what you get inside the box. Um, showing just a couple of more poses there, showing off some of the articulation. We've got uh, another exploded view of all the uh, parts and everything, showing the uh, completed model uh, in a CGI render with the uh, with two of the accessories that it comes with. I think those are actually the only two accessories that come with uh, this particular version. Um, <clears throat> and we've got some more stuff down here, just kind of illustrating how easy this is to. Uh, you know how easy it is to assemble so that you know a beginner doesn't get too intimidated uh, for uh, somebody who hasn't been who hasn't built a model before and then at the bottom we've got uh, you know build them all a uh, little uh, advert for the uh, Dark Knight uh, Dark Knight Rises version of Batman and the Man of Steel version of Superman along with some uh, with a little plug for the Screw Kits website. Again, just because of the difference in the markets, the Screw Kits box, Screw Kits box, is uh, quite different from the from a traditional Bondi model kit box. Uh, particularly in the fact that it is taped off. That is how they are manufactured. And then you've got the unfoldable flap right here. Uh, along with this little uh, cardboard edging that's going to slide out with all of your parts here. <laughs> Let's set that aside. <clears throat> and we'll see right off the bat in the uh, bags we've got uh, some multicolored, uh, or actually not multicolored, they're all singular colored, but. Uh, several different colors of uh, plastic runners in this bag and in the bigger bag we've got the instructions which uh, on the back once it's completely folded out will form a nice cool little poster there along with uh, that we've got all the rest of the runners along with the cape inside there and to take a closer look at our runners here starting off with the A runner here this is gonna have all of our black pieces that we need uh, for the entire kit uh, one nice thing that you'll notice about uh, sprue kits is how a lot of the uh, a lot of the pieces in the sections actually have these little uh, indicator uh, symbols right here, uh, indicating where uh, or what section of the kit you're going to be building. Like this right here, uh, it's a uh, if you look at it this way, you can see it's kind of like a hand uh, indicating that that's a section for the arm got a uh, section indicating the head right up here this little gun right here indicating the accessories and you've got a little boot indicating the uh, the leg section which uh, is what the uh, even the uh, pelvis section is uh, areas considered under and then uh, further down you've got this little area right here that looks kind of like a torso obviously indicating the torso section Next up is the B runner uh, containing most of the uh, external gray parts that we're going to be putting together as, as well as this little stand right here. Uh, and you'll notice it is uh, kind of falling off uh, a little bit. The sprue snapped a little bit in there. Uh, one thing uh, that I've noticed about sprue kits, it's very common just because of the way that they're designed to just be able to pull them off and pop them off of the runner. Uh, it's very common that you'll have one or two pieces uh, popped off the runner. Uh, they'll still be in the box, but they, they'll just have fallen off the runner um, from just, you know, usual shipping stress and everything, right th everything like that. And you'll just have to, you know, keep an eye out in the instructions just to try to figure out, uh, you know, where it's going to go. But uh, anyways, moving on, we've got on this runner, we've got... The uh, main sections of the upper torso, we've got the thighs here, uh, some bits for the arms, and these bits right here forming the knees. Uh, moving on to look at the C and D runners simultaneously, just because they're uh, so uh, generally small on their own. 
Uh, the Sea Runner is just going to be some uh, some gold plastic parts for the utility belt. Uh, pretty straightforward there. The D Runner is going to be this little flesh colored guy right here, and all it is is just the uh, uh, Batman's mouth right there uh, that's going to be peeking out under the mask. Very nice that they uh, that they would include this uh, as you know a separate plastic piece molded in the correct colors. Um, for a kit of this uh, of this level of detail, um, it's a little odd though that uh, this kind of thing wouldn't be uh, since this is you know since it's a Bandai kit and uh, presumably from the same designers that design Gundam kits, it's a little odd that you know these kind of things are out on their separate runners rather than being uh, put uh, collected together with a couple of other colors on a multicolor A runner, but. Uh, however Bandai wants to do it and here we've got the E runner um, and this is mainly just gonna be a bunch of a uh, bunch of pieces pretty much all pretty much the entire runner is just sections that are gonna be used for making the actual joints of the kit uh, molded entirely in gray plastic and we've got a nice little polycab runner labeled PE uh, for building a lot of those joints and this level 2 Batman kit does come with a little uh, uh, thin uh, sheet of plastic, a uh, thin bendable sheet of plastic for uh, the cape. It's uh, sealed in this little plastic bag. I'm going to go ahead and keep it in there until we get around to putting it on. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it is it does feel a little, little lame that we just get this little uh, floppy uh, piece of plastic here. Uh, for the cape, but eh, not not too big a complaint. And here we can see the assembly instructions for this guy. You can see there's a pretty good sized uh, print of the uh, of the Batman uh, CG model from the game that we saw on the front of the box, as long as well as a whole bunch of uh, warnings and uh, stuff like like a bunch of safety warnings and stuff like that. Uh, written out in here in multiple languages. Uh, I think it's, uh, <laughs> I think it's in, oh wow, a lot of languages. Um, but yeah, on the box where you've seen like a lot of stuff that was in uh, English, uh, Spanish, and French. Um, but, uh, but this little warning deal down at the bottom has got a lot more, like in, uh, like in Polish and German and stuff like that. <laughs> on the other, on the flip side of that, actually on the same side, uh, as you can see, uh, it's just not folded out all the way. We've got a, a section kind of uh, showing the piece count, or the uh, the kind of showing you, you know, what sections are going to be contained on what runners and stuff, and then showing the runners broken up into the different sections that the pieces are going to be. Uh, used on uh, and noticeably on the polycaps here you can see those little those little red X's there uh, or they're red with white borders but uh, showing that uh, certain pieces will not be used off of that polycap runner um, <coughs> see you can see we've got this little illustration of you know just popping pieces straight off of the runner um, I personally find it easier if you just use a pair of flush cutters like with any model kit uh, to get them off but uh, but I mean yeah they they do pop off with relative ease um, and without like gauging out the uh, gates and stuff too badly on the pieces um, and here we've got uh, the last bit of instructions showing like interaction with the accessories and with the little stand there at this point, I am questioning why I'm taking so much time uh, going over the instructions here. Um, but uh, again, these are these are uh, quite different from the way that uh, normal Gundam instructions are, namely in the sense that uh, these are done entirely in color. Um, and again, it's it's in a big uh, fold-out poster. 
sheet um, with uh, with all the different sections divided up. Uh, nothing really uh, numbered in any particular order, so you know you can go ahead and uh, start building it in whatever order you want. And then showing in the very center here, you know you've got all this stuff all around the edges here, and then. Uh, in this corner right here you've got the in the uh, bottom right corner you've got the instructions for the cape and then again in the very center showing the assembly of the main figure and that's gonna do it for this unboxing video guys so thank you so much for watching if you like this video beat that like button like it owes you money kick the annotation for more videos that I've done and smack that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos coming up thanks again you guys and I will see you in the next video